Hello, Minasan, and welcome back to Pokemon Violet. This is your host, Liz Meister 3. We're going to hop right back into the game, and I'm going to apologize if we are not exactly where we left off in the last episode, because I started recording this episode, and I was about 25 minutes into it when I realized that the screen that you guys would have been seeing was completely black. So, um, we're up here, um, we were over here, we've traveled all the way to here to look at this, and, um, I've caught a few Pokemon since then. That's not what I wanted. There we go. So I recently caught a Tinker Tank, a Gimwood Ghoul, a Phalanx, which made it difficult for me to capture, a Bronze, and my uh, Pichu actually evolved into a Pikachu. Um, so there's that. New 40 volumes. I got some Ultra Balls. Okay. 5 XP candy. So, um, let's see. I think that was it. I did it via the key phone. Um, battled an Eevee, which I really just want. Teddy Ursa defeated that. Um, but yeah, that's, um, ooh, that's what happened. So we're gonna grab this and then we found this over here, which I'm beginning to think is the base I need to get to. So I'll somehow figure out how to get over there. Probably just fall right there. After I do this glittery glowed thing here. It's a one star Pokemon, but I don't know what type. And now I've got help because, you know, as you know, I have no friends. I did another terror raid too, and I defeated a two star Pikachu, which I also captured. You can let that one out there too. I forgot about that. So you didn't miss much. I apologize. I hadn't realized I wasn't recording. What type of Pokemon is this? A silicobra. Wow. Sand pit. Coil. Okay. You're just going to make yourself better. So one star, and it gets one hidden. Okay. Come on, let me catch you. Suppose the first thing I need to do is hit them. What's it called again? Okay, Summer. To heal. 
And maybe buy some stuff. Pokemon. I guess I'll do that first. Hi, silly. Oh, no. No. Thank you. I didn't mean that. I don't want silly in my, uh, Pokedex. Mm. Party. Cool. Okay. Um. Let's, uh. Wait. I heard it. Um, do I have to get off it? How do you catch that one? This is not cool. You know, I see you up there. I hear you. that thing <sighs> whatever oh look another one wait what if hmm. no no One hour later. I am disappointed in the fact that I can't get that one. And it doesn't look like there's anything I can do to get it. No! I didn't want to battle. Since I don't have to f capture you, I'm just gonna make you faint. Yes. Sorry, my cat was looking at me like, what the fuck, man? What the, what the if are you doing? Uh, Spark? What do you want? Yes, you can forget Nasty Plot and, and learn Spark. Woo. I didn't I can get into the battles I don't want to get into because I'm not careful enough for that That did something. We're not gonna worry about it too much. I don't think we're actually gonna try and go for that. I'm just coming up here to see what's going on. Oot lag.
Let me get these things. Give me that. Uh, I got a Poké doll. That must be um sellable. In the Pokeball. Oh, 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 ghastly. Um. I think I caught these already. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. So we're going to go down here. In the most terrible way possible. We've got to go to the Pokemon. I'm the Pokemon. Can I help you to not like to buy? I have a lot of money. A heal ball. Hmm. You have revives. Oh, no. Didn't realize that was so much. Here we go for that. Um, guess I need to start buying some great balls. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, maybe a heal ball. You turn. I'd like to heal my Pokemon, please. Look at that line up. Whenever you need to. Yes, of course. Now, what does those up there mean? I don't know. I don't know what those mean. But I guess it does not something I need to worry about right now. Oh, it's blocked anyways. I can't even get to the town. Cassiopeia. Yeah. I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you decide to join my operation? I guess so. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Oh, hi. Does this upper shovel yours have room for one more member? What? What are you? The name's Clive. Oh. And how long have you been spending on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here, isn't that right, Liz? Uh, word? Not house. Aw, shy as ever, I see. But I'm going to team star. Is that something you can join in for fun? I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with team star. That's all. Besides, I tend to get the job well, job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. Suppose I'm hardly in a position to review help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. I don't trust Clive. Great, that sells it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia? Was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now back to Miss. Let's talk Operation Star. Yes. What would you have us do? In the book, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases, then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. 
put into the rules. You mean we need to oust their bosses from their roles somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each one of their squads has its own base. You're supposed to see the front gates of one of those bosses now, in fact. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. I can see them over there. On the other side of those is a base proper. Somewhere within that base lies one of your targets. A squad boss. Okay. I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each breach on your name list. They're basically declarations of war. Now, a team star knows that we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from the rules. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each breach has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Liz. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the, the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first, though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what you'll be doing in the meantime, like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely for now. I'll like you to monitor the bases and act as Liz's support. Your cautious one. Alright, I accept that. I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Clive, I'm pretty sure you are the team boss. Well, go get him, Liz. You look familiar. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. Wait a minute. I was not here. I was over here somewhere. Whatever. I'll get over there. Did you stop hunching back like a hunched back Notre Dame? So let's get this underway. I hope I'm not underpowered here. Because that would suck. Well, well, hold it, you. Up ahead's a base of operation for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the Seagin Squad. Yep, and we don't take to come to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amiga, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but are you that Liz kid? You know, that piece of work we're out to get to for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. Maybe I am, she says. Cool as a cucumber. Honestly, not always the best policy, you know. Ugh, you know what? Doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by me and Battle Kid. What will it be? I'll take you on. Gosh, sassy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stomped into the dirt. Okay. You are challenged by a Team Star Grunt. A Murkrow. Since I've never gone against a Murkrow. Not very effective, but it's already at half power. Kaito Kid wants to learn Iron Defense. I wonder what Kaito Kid thinks. Do you want to learn Iron Defense? 
You want to forget our rock polish and learn iron defense. Okay, we'll do that. Team Star Grunt 1 defeated. Why does such a sassy kid have to be so strong? Uh, how the heck could I lose? Well, whatever. It's your problem now. Finish up here for me, would you, bud? Okay. Thanks. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. She's new to team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. Sigh. Well, I'm going to go into the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. We'll come at you full force if you set foot inside. So you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, amiga. Hasta la vista. I still took care of the guards. Nice work. Now hop up. In hold now hold up in that base is Team Star's dark crew, the Sig Sigin squad. Their boss, Giacomo, pretty much runs the whole of Team Star, and he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war won't have ruffled him in the slightest. His final call would wear you down with a wave of grunts and finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strategies, strategic types like him, bring him down with a head-on attack. Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe out the Seagin squad off the map. Okay. Is that why? Oh, that's what those posters were. It's the Seagin squad. Okay. If we could use a Mimeridon, that would have been nice. Are you ready to challenge him? Using whoa, 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 whoa. The first. Hold up. The first three Pokemon in my party. Yum. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um. There we go. Now I'm ready. The first three Pokemon in my party. I don't know why it's the first three. I was not going to win with Magikarp. Don't care what it says. Oh. Hi, Clive. Careful now, Liz. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll, have, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. If you're going to get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The guys we'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. Biz Boop Crunk, heads up gang, some jumped up kid has wandered in thinking she can raid our base. Clearly she doesn't know who she's messing with. Let's teach her a lesson she won't forget. To our to guess, if you can feed 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. 10 minutes? You're freaking kidding me. Send your Pokemon out with the Arbun to try to feed a set number of Team Stars Pokemon before time runs out. If you're taking on a challenge of a Star Barrage, you can have three Pokemon out at the same time. You lose in a Star Barrage if all of your Pokemon get two more out to battle or if time runs out. One of your Pokemon can no longer better. You can help it recover HP by using a vending machine. If you decide to give up before time runs out, press the Y button. Um... R.
Ah. She's way above our level. We've got to get to the, uh, the boss. That's right. Get the boss. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Huh? What is that monstrosity? You must be the boss. Boss of Team Star's Dark Crew. Giacomo. You've done a real number on us, party crasher. Liz, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. I am challenged by a Giacomo of Team Star. With a weird Pokemon I don't remember the name of. You don't really think things through, do you? Declaring war on Team Star is a real bad move. Um, a Ponywad? Let's try a Seed Bomb. It's not very effective. Okay. Ha. Huh. How's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up good, party crasher. Eh, it was alright. But it wasn't very effective either. Let's try a quick tack. Hmm. <laughs> That's right. Get thunder shocked. Sent out revive room. Time to up the tempo. The show ain't over yet. You only have two Pokemon and you're gonna challenge me. Leave our rooms intimidated. What the F is this bullshit? COVID tackle. Well, come on out. Where's Forrester? Nothing I need. Metal sound? What the hell is that? Eh. Okay. Snarl that powerful. Hmm. 
I didn't do no extra damage. Amber would have done better. What the world? Okay. Smackdown and Mud Shot. Why do I need to look at him jamming? What? That is not effective. Snarl's gonna defeat me, man. I'm gonna have to come back. Cause like, what the F? Go ahead, she. do too much damage, but you don't have... No, actually. Oh, well, bye, Hedgy. When you become a Gary at us, you'll be stronger. Hakaba. Uh... Don't know what you can do, but go. Swift? Not even halfway. Bye, Hakaba. Mm. Hopefully this makes him more powerful. Please don't knock it out. Yes! Okay. Didn't do as much. Please don't do much, please. <gasps> yes.
Okay. Oh, come on! Oh, are you serious? Be faster. No, you were supposed to be faster. Arthur, you were supposed to be faster. Does it keep using snarl? It might use metal sound next. Nope, use snarl. Okay. Let's use snarl. One eternity later. Yes! <sighs> God damn, you made every one of my Pokemon faint! What are you side eyeing me for, Kiki? Guess that's that. Uh, yeah, you no longer the boss. About a year and a half ago. Guess that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted me, my take on some stuff, so we had a chat and settled it. it Settle on a few plans. A few plans like for what? Operation Star, first of all. And also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we gotta make up some team rules like a code. So we're all on the same page. Nice. You'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? Ha. Huh, no thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah. I used to be the president of the student council, but you know everyone needed... Ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules in the room, and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. Cannot help but concur. Male students. Air must stray. Must stray. No further than 1.8 inches below the nape. And so forth. You, your rules were vexation made manifest. My point is that you all agree that I shouldn't be left anywhere near this new coat. But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. 
That stuck out student council press isn't who you are anymore, man. It could run by Giacomo. I'm looking forward. I'm looking at now. I'd follow with that any day. As would I. Okay, thanks for the Eagle Bus, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself. There's no going back on now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would ya? I got a star badge. Cause I defeated some dark crew dude. Yay! That battle took forever. I'll give you this choice TM2 you've earned at Fair and Square. Foul play? Whoever said I'm going to use that? Ha, ah, so this is how the party ends. But let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? No, you wiped them all out, most of them with one hit. You learn those trainer chops at the academy? Like what moves you should use and stuff? Sure did. Hmm, okay. You like at the academy? Having fun? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Well, ho, oh, wasn't expecting a giant pompo or to make a guest appearance today. You got, you get a Quaxwell to style that up for you? I'm um, just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure. I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks. I'll get straight to it. Seems all of you in Team Star are headed for explosion if you keep up your current activity. So why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal that we don't know if they'll be coming back. Pal? Close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like, there's a top champion who's absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. And where's this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, must be a year and a half now. We thought it, if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers kept pressing us to call it quiz, and then we get party crashers like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were all they were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and their big this big boss of yours are really that important to you? <laughs> Is the sky blue? Let me put in words, you egg hags at the Academy of Mount Understand. They're my greatest treasure. Okay, that was a little weird. I figured it out already. I know who the star is. The big bosses. I'm that smart. I'm that smart. I already know. Boopity boopity boop. My theory, and you can tell me if I'm wrong or not, is this Cassiopeia. This person. Liz, it's me. They're the big star. Seems Giacomo no longer carries his star badge, just symbol of his status as a boss. He gave it to you, did he? Yes. I see. With this boss out of the picture, the Seagin squad is pretty much done for. That's what you wanted, big boss. Oh, Giacomo. Ah, see? Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. You are the big boss. Now about your word. Transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Wow. And you can now make... More kinds of TMs using TMs. I took over adding some new ent entries to the range of TMs you can make at a TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So, mu so much that you deserve an extra work. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Uh. <gasps> Evie Girl! I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember me. But um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study, you know, the treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. <laughs> I'll be glad to work with you, Penny. Just give me your Eevee bag. So here, your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Okay. I want your Eevee bag. I should be able to make tons of TMs with those, but I want your Eevee bag. So I'll get more rewards. <sighs> I still want your bag. You seems you are pretty amazing. The trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so um, good luck. 
Thanks. Would <laughs> you eat me back? <laughs> Why can't that be my school bag? Why? <laughs> okay. Um. We can go in here now, yes? And nothing will happen? Just a looking around for a Pokeball or two or three or twenty. You know, some stuff. Like that. See? Look at that. Oh, and there's a machine. That would have helped heal my Pokemon if I had gotten over this way. But I didn't. I never came this way. That's why I'm coming here now. Look, there's another one. Why are they all over here? Like, no, seriously. Wait, we can go up these? Ha, ha, ha. Mm. Okay, whatever. I'm bad at driving. Oh. Okay, so there was a Pokeball somewhere. Was it at this one up here? Yes. Okay, so it's this rock here. Told you I'd be back for it. Alright. So with that, what should I tackle next? Okay. What are you? Is the ground the one that gets me the uh, the water or is a magic card breakout? Or is a bat? That's a star fall. No man, that's victory road, gym badge. You're not one I'm looking for. <clears throat> I don't... Which one do I need next? I don't actually officially know. But, um, I'm pretty sure to get what I want. I guess I'll do the gym battle next. Kofu, the surging chief for the water. And then I'll go into the Asidio, Asadio. Oh, I gotta come all the way back down. Or I could go that way. Maybe it'll let me. Because of that? There's a port there. That's one of them. Oh, it didn't even mark it. That's one, two, three of what I did. Oh, so Marcy, order you going. Okay. Uh, no. We're going to go there. So I guess no reason to mark anything as a destination. Wait. I don't. Ah! Oh, fudge. I was about to die too. I was trying to avoid a battle. Because I need to go to a, a center. Um. I'll come back for you. I just. I need. I need. I need. You. There's a Gimme Gold nearby. I 
They need to be healed. Yes, give me go. Where are you? Nope, I don't care. Something about some team. Where's... Oh, you're right there. Alright, let's turn around. Go back for this trainer. That barricade. That barricade over there is part of Team Star Base. Team Star is trouble. So battle me instead. But I've already defeated Team Star. Alfredo. Alfredo Sauce. Does your Magikarp actually have attacks? Because mine only has tackle. Arukuda? It's a water Pokemon. Got it. You're welcome. I guess I couldn't even trick you. Nope. Give me my money. Oh, oh, hi. Dodge your butt. You didn't even get one hit on me, one hit wonder. Okay, a little buggy. Look at him. Look at that person flashing in and out. Um, what? Turn, disappear. Turn, appear. Turn, disappear. Okay. Where is your gym? Oh, first things first, though. That works too. Run into this Pokemon. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Whatever. I give up because it's not letting me do it. Like, I don't know. Muscle Brand? Holiday Whooper? Let's do that whooper is a holiday blue whooper icon out of the region want to trade a holiday whooper to get it. Uh I don't have one. Okay. What I wanna know is how you catch the Pokemons in the waters because it won't let me catch it. Oh yes, throw this Pokeball. I'm not throwing a Pokeball. I'm throwing a Pokemon. How do I stop throwing a Pokeball? You don't know. Ah. <clears throat> Valent, Valoon, some light, some light. Okay, White Rabbit. Ah, Kofu, wait. Now he go away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Don't ask me. I want the water Pokemon. You're here as a gym challenger, right? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and it. Of course you are. That big man that just left is Kofu, leader of the Kaskakarfa gym. He has a bit of a childlike side to him. And today, he's run off to the market without his wallet. He's in big trouble with that. I swear you come in. Kind gym challenger, could you please take this? Fine. 
You are too kind. I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. Give me it. Okay, whatever. This is your gym test here. If you do this to me, you're past. Okay. Be careful, though. There are dangerous Pokemon in the desert. Wait a minute. What do I have to go there? Can I just find a Pokemon that'll let me capture it that's in the water? I wasn't planning on going through the desert, you know. This is taking too long. I have thin patience as it is. Would you pick that up? Why is there a burning thing right there? What is this? There's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. Will you pull out the stake? Sure. When you pull the stake, it crumbled and vanished. Okay. Wonderful. Are you telling me there's no Pokemon in the water here? Mm. Fine. Well, head out into the desert, which wasn't necessarily a part of my plan. No! Why? I was not... I was not getting on that! Why did you force me on it? A oh, fucking... Blah, 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 blah. Dumb thing! You don't know nothing! When I leaped down, I was not near it. So why did you put me on it? See, look. No. I want to catch you. Let me... Why I can't attack the Pokemon in the water? It's it's like, uh, yeah, nah. Nah. We ain't doing that. You ain't allowed to have these Pokemon. Activate this because I don't know. All right, this port that I need to go to, which I'll probably go to in the next episode. <laughs> Technically, oh, I do have to go all that way. All right, well, we'll go to the port in the next episode. Um, and then I guess we'll go swing by and get this Titan, maybe? I don't know. And try to figure out how to get water Pokemon, because it won't let me capture any water Pokemon. Oh, there is a Pokemon I don't have there. Okay. So, we'll see you in the, uh, next episode of Pokemon Violet. Bye-bye.